All right, before we paint, I'm gonna cover a couple of things to just get it out of the way. I always have people ask me questions of like, what brushes do you use? What settings do you use? How do you do your setup? Um, so this little video is a quick little dive into some of the settings that I do to make this easier because what we wanna do is we wanna focus in on the creative stuff. All right, so first thing is you really should have a tablet or if you have an iPad, I know both of these things are expensive items, but they will make your life much easier if you're doing digital painting. I'm gonna be using Photoshop, so let me show you my settings in Photoshop. Here's default Photoshop. I have a couple of things that I really like to do. One of the things is to go under Window, um, Workspace, and I like painting. I make sure that I here I turn on Color, Layers, and pretty much everything else is off. So I'm gonna keep this really simple. I don't want lots of settings in here. Under the Preferences, if you're on Windows, I believe it's Edit Preferences here on a Mac. I work on Windows and Mac. We will go under Preferences, Workspace. There's a couple of things that I like to uncheck. I don't like the docking. Open Documents as tabs, I uncheck and enable floating window docking, document window docking. I like to uncheck that too because I like to be able to have two images up at the same time and not be as tabs, kind of like, you know, viewing a web browser. So for me, that's a preference. I like Photoshop to be clean and just kind of like this. For the brushes, there are two actual tools that we'll be using. One is just the regular paintbrush found over here. And then the other in the painting menu here, come down here, is the mixer brush. Let me come back here and show you the brushes linked down below that you can download after you get them. You're gonna come up to the brushes menu. So select your brush, come up here to this little tick mark next to this window and say, import brushes. Now it's gonna go look for these brushes. I know where mine is saved. Load this, jeremyfavorites.abr after you've unzipped the file. It's going to bring in a little thing here that says Jeremy Favorites. There are three brushes in here. So under the Jeremy's Favorites brushes, it's this JV Chalky. This is my favorite brush for painting. I don't remember exactly where I found it um, in my years, that's why I'm keeping it down to the simplest of brushes. Um, it is really, really nicely um, pressure, kind of opacity. If I press really hard, you can get you know thicker strokes here. If I press really light, you know, it, it's just, it's like very gentle touch, has a nice texture to it. Love this brush. Most of what we'll do is with this brush alone. By the way, there's one other setting that I really love to change here. I don't really like this big square color swatch. I like to go up to this little hamburger menu up here and say color wheel. I like this better. I think it's easier for picking colors. I also love in this painting mode that you can make this kind of as big as you want. So this can be nice and big if you really want to get the subtlety of this color versus this color. This is a really beautiful way to work. Um, I keep mine probably about this big or so. It's a super cool, this brush can do all kinds of stuff, but this next brush is the mixer brush. Looks very similar to the, the painting brush, but it has this little drip on it. Now let me show you the settings that I like in here. The first thing to do along this toolbar along the top is Let's pick the brush I want. I like this great blender mixer brush as my actual brush that I use for this. So it's a brush inside the tool of the mixer brush tool. The next thing is I don't wanna see this yellow here. I don't wanna see light and color in this. So I want to go to this little drop down next to it and say clean brush. This is what we want is to not see anything in there. I don't want any color. I wanna see the little checkerboard pattern that says I'm not picking up color. So these two buttons here, I want to uncheck the first one that says pick up color. Leave the second one checked. This is going to be a blender only. Now I want my wet at 100%, my load all the way down 1%, my mix all the way down 1%, and my flow up at 100%. This is gonna be amazing. And we can say sample all layers, this is cool. We're only gonna be painting on one layer, so it's fine. So now let me show you the magic of this brush. This one will blend things together. So uh, you can just kind of smooth things out. It has a little bit of texture to it that I love, but it's just a great way to blend things around. This is a fantastic tool. So now you see what I'm gonna be using for all future paintings when I'm in Photoshop. These are my technical settings that I use. Oh, one other thing, tip. Hotkeys, brackets. So if you do 
Uh, right bracket makes the tool bigger. Left bracket makes it smaller. Total magic. All right. That should be good for the setup. If you have other questions, let me know.